For some in the religious world, science is approached with a lot of skepticism. Whether it's the belief that it's out to disprove religion, or simply that it offers no benefit to a person of faith, interest in science, as well as scientific literacy, is not very high in certain religious circles. But what about for Catholics? What do we do with scientific theories that speak about things contained in scripture, like creation? This is Catholicism in Focus. If we want to understand the creation of the universe from a scientific perspective, we'll need to turn to what is called the Big Bang Theory. I am your professor, and you're going to treat me with the proper- <laughs> No, not that Big Bang Theory. This Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, all of the matter that makes up everything in the universe, from the stars and planets to living things like you and me, began as a very hot and very dense primordial soup of sorts that expanded all at once. Using quantum mechanics and observing the universe today, scientists are able to calculate with amazing precision the rate of this expansion at different periods, the temperature of the universe over time, when quantum forces and particles developed, and how all of those factors led to the creation of all that we can see today. The theory is remarkable in breadth and clarity, able to explain almost everything we could ever want to know about the expansion of the universe. And yet, what is truly fascinating about it, and why it remains a theory and not a law of physics, is that the very first moments of expansion remain elusive to explanation. And I mean the very first moments. From the moment of the Big Bang to 10 million trillion trillion trillionths of a second, the fundamental forces of physics, the ones that all of physics are based on, had yet to develop, meaning that all of our calculations during this period just fall apart. Ugh, I hate it when I drive 13.7 billion miles and hit a dead end one million trillion trillion trillionths of a mile from the end. So frustrating. It's because of this that while science can get really, really close, it cannot actually prove that there was a single exact beginning of the universe. All of the calculations we have point to a single converging moment of creation, but without proof, some have theorized that instead of a Big Bang, what we could be observing is in fact just a big bounce or big crunch, a time when the universe collapsed on itself before expanding again, repeating backwards forever. Of course, this is a Catholic Christian show about theology, so before I get in trouble for trying to explain matters of which I have absolutely no business talking about, let's return to the question at hand. As people of faith, how should we approach scientific theories as they relate to religious belief? Naturally, we can start by saying that there are some similarities between this theory and our biblical accounts of creation. The idea that there was an exact, singular starting point to time and space, rather than an infinite regress of previous universes, fits nicely with our understanding that God, being infinite, was the catalyst for all of creation, rather than it existing forever for its own sake. Further, the notion that the whole universe rapidly expanded all at once, changing from an indistinguishable mass that was at the same time everything yet nothing, into the many pieces of the universe, offers a scientific image of the divine word speaking something into being, like what we find in Genesis 1. And of course, if we're looking for a reason to incorporate scientific theory with our Catholic faith, we need to look no further than the man who first proposed the theory, Father George Lemaitre. That's right, a Catholic priest came up with the Big Bang Theory. While he was not ultimately the one to name the theory, this Belgian priest and physicist was the first to derive what is known as Hubble's Law, made the first estimation of Hubble's constant, and was the first to propose that the universe expanded from a single point. And really, there should be no reason to be surprised by this. Regarding scientific studies on creation, the Catechism of the Catholic Church states, these discoveries invite us to an even greater admiration for the greatness of the Creator, prompting us to give him thanks for all his works and for the understanding and wisdom he gives to scholars and researchers. At the same time, there is no denying that science and religion are completely different disciplines of knowledge, and we should be cautious about using one to support or prove the other. Just because a scientific theory explains something important about the world doesn't make it theology. And just because our theology includes statements about the natural world, doesn't make it science. For this reason, these two disciplines might best be described as non-overlapping magisteria, meaning that they are independent ways of knowing truth that do not speak about the same things in the same ways. Think about it this way. If an astrophysicist and a poet were to look at the same sunset, they would probably describe it in completely different ways. One would give facts and figures while the other would capture how it felt to watch it. Despite being different in every way, 
they can still both be true because they have at their center a different purpose. Whereas science uses our sense perception and rationality to come to a better understanding of what is around us, religion uses revelation and faith to come to a better understanding of why something is and what we're supposed to do with it. Things that science, even if sophisticated, will never be able to offer. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So what do we make of this scientific explanation of creation? In a way, our answer is the same for anything scientifically stated. To the extent that it follows proper methods, accurately assessing natural phenomena and producing verifiable data, science offers us a gateway into the truth of God. The Big Bang Theory contains an amazing amount of factual information that can reveal the wonder of God and the vastness of creation. But science can only go so far. Besides the fact that the Big Bang Theory is yet inconclusive, the very discipline leaves us wondering more. Why is there even anything at all? Where did we come from? Where are we going? What is our purpose in life? Whether it's creation, evolution, or the mystery of birth, science can only take us so far. No matter how advanced it may become, and its advancement is certainly a good thing, there will always be questions that only a well-developed faith can answer. Thanks for watching this episode of Catholicism in Focus, one of the many efforts of Breaking in the Habit Media to evangelize and catechize online. I hope you consider joining William Cornett and all the patrons on Patreon in supporting these efforts.